Good morning. It's uh, Saturday at about 8.30 in the morning. I've uh, just got my truck parked right up above me and I'm going on a short hike. It's about uh, 1.3 miles up over this hill behind me. Uh, no trail to get there to a lake uh, that should kick out some pretty good brick trout. All right, I'm about 10 minutes into my hike. I'm gonna have wet feet if I don't pay attention. Uh, I'm passing the first lake along the way. Typically when I hike up here in the high wind, as you know, it's not uncommon to pass five or more. Uh, this time I just passed one. Quite a bit of fish out there jumping. Uh, I've actually never fished that one before, but we're gonna bypass that and uh, on to bigger and better things. A good mile or so of that will make you appreciate a trail. A lot of work. There's definitely some boulder hopping to get up there. All right, uh, I am just below the lake. Uh, I just gotta go over this little cliff and uh, find an easy way up and over this and I'll be there in uh, 10 minutes or so. Been a really great hike, it's steep. Uh, I've been on the trail for about 45 minutes. So it'll probably be an hour in total from truck to lake and uh, quite the hike, a lot of work. I made it, it is beautiful up here. <laughs> uh, total time, uh, about an hour and five minutes. So, so I'm gonna look for a spot to set up a tent. We'll get set up, some water, coffee, fishing, all the good stuff. This beauty is the lake. I love it up here. <laughs> it is a uh, quarter after 10. Just got set up, got the Nemo Blaze with me this time, haven't used it in quite a while. And wanted a little bit of a lighter, a lighter setup to, to lug up the hill. So, uh, nobody up here, I'm the only one. But, uh, you guys know the routine probably at this point. We're gonna have some coffee. I'm gonna rig up and hit the water for an early fishing session. I do wanna do a little bit of day hiking um, and kind of explore the area. So, we're gonna fish first and then kind of relax and then uh, fish again. <laughs> Coffee first. All right, I've had my coffee. Uh, I've got my wet shoes off, sandals on, fishing pole in my hand, and uh, we're going down to the water. This is so peaceful. Up and I haven't even made a cast yet. Ah, the wind didn't help that, but here we go, guys. First cast. That's deep right here. Okay, so uh, I've moved down about 25 yards. I had a few strikes over there, three or four, but uh, couldn't get any through to the net, so. I'm going to give this spot about 30 minutes and probably work my way back to camp and get things uh, ready for tonight. Ooh. Oh, man. It's like my 10th strike. They're teasing me big time. All right. It is about 1 o'clock. I think it's actually a little after 1 and I'm just making it back to camp. <laughs> I was only planning on going out for like an hour, uh, but I stayed out for like 3. Those fish are something else. Uh, they're big in here, if you can actually catch one. I had so many strikes and I just couldn't get anything to the net. So uh, we'll try again later. I'm gonna take about an hour. I'm gonna process some firewood, filter some water, and just hang out for a little bit before going on a day hike. And then I'll show you this area. It is beautiful. Uh, view, uh, you know, another incredible view up here. <laughs> All right, uh, got water. I got enough for the whole night and probably the morning. I'm gonna go for a little walk and uh, just do a little filming, looking for wildlife. It is so pretty up here and uh, check this view out.
I just got back to camp uh, from walking around the lake and uh, I'm actually gonna do a little fishing so yeah we'll see what happens finally oh and it came off <laughs> Oh man. I've still got a little leech pattern on, but this one is a size 12. Uh, it's a lot lighter. The bead is not as heavy, so I'm able to cast a little further. Uh, we'll see what happens. Oop, I just got a nib I just got a nibble. Got it. Finally. Go. Oh, good fish. Yeah. Good fish. Heck yeah. Finally uh, got into the fish, caught a handful, uh, missed a handful, and I'm still getting quite a few strikes, but you know, that's just what happens sometimes when you fish barbless hooks. So I'm gonna relax for 30 or 40 minutes and then uh, probably hit the water one more time before bed. Uh, a couple of day hikers, it looks like a dad and his kids uh, are on the other side of the lake. They just hiked up from uh, a pretty popular place to day camp. It's about a mile and a half from here for car camping. So I can hear the kids yelling, but you know, that's okay. They're up here to have a good time too. And uh, it's pretty neat that they're up here, you know, to these lakes that are off the trail. So gonna relax, hang out for a bit and uh, we'll fish at least one more time. <laughs> oh, I'm having so much fun. Uh, so I just talked to the father of uh, all these kids making all the noise. Uh, he's up here with his brother and sister, and the lake's actually named after their grandpa. Uh, they've always wanted to come up here as a family, and they've never done it, so they uh, actually are car camping down below, and uh, finally made it up here. So, pretty neat story. Uh, really nice guy, nice family, good kids. Um, pretty cool conversation anyways, but... All right, guys. Uh, I've been down here on the water for about 30 minutes. Uh, I haven't filmed a whole lot because I've been fishing next to the that family that I met up here, super nice family, awesome company, and uh, you know, we had a great time fishing next to each other, exchanging stories about the Hiawinas. Uh, great family, great kids. Um, really, really neat experience for me. Caught a handful of fish. Uh, I think I netted six and missed a few strikes, so uh, they just are, are hiking out of here, so I'm gonna get the camera on again, and uh, I'll be on the water for probably 30 or so more minutes before uh, making my way back to camp. I am gonna have a, a fish dinner tonight, Let's see if we can't catch one more before uh, shutting it down. Oh, my net's over here. Oh, yeah, good fish. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Good evening. I am back at camp. Uh, fishing tonight was awesome. It was pretty slow when I first got here, but it picked up and, uh, you know, it was really good fishing uh, tonight. I didn't film a whole lot of it because I was kind of hanging out with that, uh, with the gentleman uh, and his family who have since left, but I, you know, I didn't want to film them. But anyways, I had a really good time. It was great meeting them. Love meeting new people. So uh, we're going to get this fire going, get some coal so I can cook some fish and some uh, instant mashed potatoes. Should be a really good dinner. So I just threw my trout there in the tin foil in the fire. Just pulled a couple coals to the side uh, and set them on top of it. 
I'll probably do about six or seven minutes to side. Uh, I woke up at about a quarter after six. It's 6.45 now. I'm gonna do the coffee thing. Um, had a great night. Uh, it sprinkled, it rained quite a bit last night. Uh, pretty dry now, so that's cool. But it was a really nice white noise listening to that on my tent. I slept great. So yeah, we're gonna just do the coffee thing and then I'm gonna get packed up and I'm gonna hit the trail pretty quick. I got some things at home to do. Uh, so this was just a quick trip and uh, thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you soon.